We need 105. First of all, I asked you to name something a burglar might use or wear. You said... A jemmy. Our survey said... 23, 118. Good. Smile. Let's have a look. What was the top answer there? It was mask. So, then I asked you to name something you hate about big cities. You said... Smoke. Our survey said... 16, 134. Going well. We need 66. Mm -hmm. Three answers to reveal. And you're not cracking, are you? Not <laughs> then I asked you to name something... The top answer we'd already had, by the way, there. Traffic. I asked you to name something specific that makes you sneeze. You said... Pepper. Our survey said... 34. Well played. Top answer. We need 32. Then I should name something a carpenter uses. You said... Plain. Good answer. We'd already had the top answer, so you can't score 38. But if plain is worth, what, 32 or more, you have the money. You said plain. Our survey said... 17. 185. 15 to get. Mm -hmm. Last answer to reveal. Finally, I asked his name something false which can be worn. You said... Teeth. The top answer was wig. Mm -hmm. It was worth 32 and would have taken you through. But if teeth is worth 15 or more, you have £3,000. You said teeth. Our survey said... Yes! <laughs> well played! I love that just wash fairy freshness. I just don't want it to fade. Now I've found fairies in wash scent boosters. Simply add directly into the drum before every wash for mild freshness that lasts and lasts, cuddle after cuddle. They're dermatologically tested and suitable even next to sensitive skin. New fairy scent boosters. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that'll go nicely. Think about the recipe. Think about the flavour. <laughs> They're gonna love this. Jeff? I put paprika in. Don't be oh yeah. <laughs> Brick dipping ice it plays me better than you ever imagined. <laughs> Join Sky Mobile and get 99% network coverage. Imagine that. Sky Mobile. Hello, possible. At Co-op, we're doing things a bit differently this Christmas. What is this? Donate to our local community fund and we'll match it. There's still life after a loss. So together, we can keep helping causes across the nation. Let's give the gift of community spirit. Blockbusters on Sky Cinema with the Super Mario Brothers movie. Bowser is headed toward our kingdom. We are going to stop Bowser. Well, take me with you. Yes! Destroy the Buckbuster Kingdom! <laughs> Come on, Mario! Yes. Together, we'll annihilate that 
monster. The Super Mario Brothers movie. Available Christmas Day on Sky Cinema. Step into Christmas and as many steps away from the chaser as you can. The Chase, weeknights at 9 on Challenge. An enthusiastic audience wearing party hats, Christmas trees with candles, lanterns, falling imitation snow, two celebrity families and a castle backdrop for the electronic screen. Family fortunes and tonight's families are Prince Charming, Cinderella, the Fairy Godmother, and the ugly sisters Annie and Fanny, the Hard Up family. And they're playing Widow Twanky, Wishy Washy, Aladdin, Uncle Abeniza, and So Shy, the Twanky family. And here's your host, yes, it's Buttons. Les takes centre stage. Welcome to a Christmas family fortunes. I'm Buttons. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, shut up, it's too early for all that. And we've got two pantomime families who are hoping to win £3,000 for their favourite charities. So, let's meet the families. We meet the Hard Up family. <laughs> Not Hard Up anymore, cos it's Prince Charming. I choked on some of that fake snow. I just want you to know. Did you? Did you? Well, I don't mind, cos you <laughs> stole my girl. Well, you know what that is, don't you? Oh, oh shut up. That was just soft. No, he did. He... Ah. Oh. He took cinders away from me. Yeah, he did. Oh. He didn't take me. I went to my own accord. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, cinders. <laughs> Introduce us to your family. Yes, indeed, Buttons. Well, as you know, Cinders, but I don't want you talking to her. So moving further right. along, we've got our fairy godmother. Hello, fairy godmother. She's Hello, very nice. Buttons. Hello. How are you, gorgeous? <laughs> Hello again. Oh, she I'm likes sorry. me. Yeah. <laughs> talking to Buttons. All right, these two at the end. Uh, oh dear, Fanny and Annie. I don't think I like Fanny. Them, <laughs> yes. Which one's this Fanny? Is, this is Fanny. I'm Fanny. <laughs> yes, oh, she's yeah. Fanny. Oh yeah. And you're Annie. I'm Annie. Yeah. Fanny's sister. Annie. Who's the baddie? Not telling you. <laughs> There's always one good ugly sister and one bad ugly sister. If you start to... oh, hey! She hits and squeezes a false bosom. <laughs> What's it like being a prince? It's great, thanks for asking. Bye. Oh. <laughs> you're not getting Well, her. before you go, you're before... not getting her. I know, I know, but what's your charity that you're going to give all the money to? We're going to give our money when we win it, because we're going to win. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. 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 No, no questions about it to the uh, Leukaemia Trust Fund, set up by Sharon Allen, Sharon Allen, young young lady down in London. Great. Well, that's a good okay. charity. And that's a harder family. Let's meet the Twanky family. <laughs> it's Widow Twanky. It certainly is, Buttons. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Oh, and you? Yeah, lovely, thank you. Lovely. Yeah, I can't call you Widow Twanky, though. You must have a name, a yeah. first name. Tina. Call me Tina. Tina Twanky. Tina Twanky, yes. Where have you brought the family from? Peking. Peking? Yeah. <laughs> Which bus? 73. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a lovely dress. Can we just... We, we didn't see yes, that. Yes, have a little... I'll, I'll do a little twirl. All right, then. Look, here we go. Hey. Oh, by the way, your laundry's up top. Oh, is that mine? Yes. Oh, I wonder where they got to. Yeah. Right. Introduce us to your family, widow. Well, here's my youngest son, Wishy Washy. <laughs> your youngest. Hello, Button. Yes. Hello, Wishy Washy. Hello, Button. <laughs> And then we've got my eldest son there, Aladdin. Hello, Aladdin. Hi, Buttons. Hi. <laughs> and uh, my father... My father, my... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my husband's brother. <laughs> Your husband's brother. <laughs> Sorry, Abenazer. Abenazer. The there evil Abenazer. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, down the end, there's Aladdin's girlfriend, So Shy. So Shy. Uh, Is she really So Shy? I think... Are you So Shy? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Widow Twanky, what charity are we playing for? For kind, for kids in need and distress. Right. All right, then. Well, that's two good charities. Let's play Family Fortunes. <laughs> that's it. Meet the Widow. Oh, hello. Isn't he charming? Isn't he? <laughs> he is quite, isn't he? <laughs> yes. Lovely. All right, then. Hand behind your back. Yeah. 100 people surveyed, and in this first game, we're looking for the top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something you associate with Santa Claus. Prince. Oh, did I win? Yeah. This week we'd oh, like the answer. The red outfit. <laughs> the red oh. coat is there, but there are more popular ones. What do you think? We're Toys. Presents is there. So, what are you going to do? 
All right, rejoin your family. And of course, the hard ups, you should get your heads together in case you get a chance to steal later on. Hello, wishy washy. Hello, buttons. <laughs> Apart from <laughs> <laughs> something you associate with uh, Santa Claus, uh, reindeer buttons. Yes. Oh! Well played, wishy. Top answer. Aladdin, you're very nicely dressed. Oh, yeah, something I dug up in this cave I go to. Oh, right. Second man cave. <laughs> something you associate with Santa Claus? Uh, chimneys. Oh, good answer, and it wasn't there. Abenaza. Sack. Boom. Sack. Two lines have gone. <laughs> so, hard ups, if you confer now, you might get a chance to steal. So, shy. Yes, a white beard. Yes! <laughs> well played. And that noise means that you have won a prize. And to tell you what you've won, here is our resident genie of the lamp. It's Frank Bruno. <laughs> the prizes what we've won today will be going to the children, not to them OK yards over there. So <laughs> he'll soon be racing his own front. Sorry, let me get my gum shield out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he'll soon be ra racing in his own front room. I can't. I can just hear Mark going vroom 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 vroom. Mark Smallman in a wheelchair. Hello, How are you doing? Uh, Here, who I am. And buttons. <laughs> and this is one of your favourite toys, isn't it? Okay. Well, Widow Twanky and her family have just won this for you on Family Fortune. <sighs> isn't that great? Thank you. We're chasing you, Mark, look. Oh. <laughs> A Skelextric set. Well won. Nice present for Mark. <laughs> Tina. I think I'm going to go with Grotto. No. Oh. Good answers, but no. So it means... Annie. Snow. Snow. Annie. Christmas. Christmas. Sledge. Sledge. Lapland. Lapland. Prince Charlie, you can go with any of those answers or take your own. All right, slay. 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 No! <laughs> so now, Can't believe it. I know, I know. The other two, so let's find those missing answers. Number four is. Snow. Snow. Which we got somewhere yes, along the line snow. there. Snow. And number three snow. is. Christmas, £76 to the Twanky family. The hard-up family are still hard-up. We'll play round two. <laughs> Cinder's wishy. <laughs> Hello, Cinder's. <laughs> Can I have a wish, Cinder's? <laughs> All right, 100 people surveyed, top five answers. Apart from a partridge, name an item from the Christmas song. You've got to sing it. What? Two turtle doves and a thing, thingy, thingy, thingy. <laughs> thing. <laughs> turtle doves is answer number two, but there's a more popular one, so wishy washy. Uh, three French ends. Um, <laughs> yes, it's there, but you have the more popular one. What do you want to do? Play or pass? We'll have that one. You're we'll going to have that one? We'll all right, rejoin your family, and I want you all to sing it. Oh, I can't call you Fairy Godmother all the time. Fairy Veg, you do. Fairy Veg. Fairy Veg. <laughs> Bionic. 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 <laughs> Thank you for that, Annie. <laughs> It's a milking. <laughs> <laughs> Tanny, that's a lovely dress. You like it? It's lovely. <laughs> I wore this dress last night, you know, I caused a sensation. Yes. Why was that? I had it on back to front. <laughs> <laughs> could have been worse, you could have had it on upside down. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny, what do you think? Five golden rings. Well sung. Yes, top answer. <laughs> Price. Frank's lantern is smoking. <laughs> Your lamp's gone out. S -s -s Slight complication. <laughs> <laughs> See, these a lot I could list them combining inside this music system, if you're not. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. You must be Danielle. Come on in. Yeah? I'm, I'm Buttons. I'm not really. I'm Les Dennis. Do you watch Family Fortunes? Yeah, well, if you look down that camera, you're on the telly yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> See this? It's a portable CD, stereo. It's got everything on it. And that's for you to play. And who do you like best? Jason. Jason Donovan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle Nobbs looks very happy. Nice for Danielle. Well played, Fanny. Annie. You can sing the song. <laughs> yeah, all right, then. Sing the song. Well, which bit are you going to sing? I'm going to sing... Eleven lords are leaping. Ray, yeah. That was nearly singing. 
Lords, well played. Five people. One answer to five. Pinty. Four calling bits. Hey, that was good. <laughs> yeah. £76. And there are no answers to reveal, so we'll go straight into round three. Very veg. <laughs> that was a strong handshake. Right. Top eight answers on the board. Name a sport which could be hazardous in a nudist colony. <laughs> Darts. <laughs> Smashing! It's great! <laughs> it's there, but there are three more popular ones. Aladdin, what do you think? Um, well, just running. No, it isn't there, so you have control of the ball. What are you going to do? Uh, let's play. 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 All right, rejoin your family, and we come to you again, Fanny, for a sport which could be hazardous in a nudist colony. Yes, leapfrog. <laughs> it is a sport. It is a sport. <laughs> it is the way I play it. <laughs> Oh, good answer, but not there. Annie. I was thinking. <laughs> Never. Athletics <laughs> with the relay race when you change the baton. You've got to get more. <laughs> no. Ooh. Good one, but not. So the Twankies, you might get a chance to steal. Mm. Pole vaulting. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. So. It's not what our hundred people said. So shy. Um. Um. High jump. High jump. Rugby football. Rugby football. Archery. Archery. High hurdles. High hurdles. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going for rugby football. <laughs> rugby football. Oh, yeah. Well played. Well played. So the missing answers. Number eight. Hang gliding. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. Hurdling. Oh, yeah. Somebody said that thing down here. Six. Wrestling. <laughs> Number five is tennis. Anyone for it? New balls. Number th new balls. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, fencing. <laughs> and number two is cricket. <laughs> All right, we're going to have a break. Widow Twanky's going to make me a cup of tea. We'll see you in a couple of minutes where one of our families will have a chance to play and win £3,000 for their favourite charity. We'll see you then. <laughs> Right now, UNICEF is supporting millions of children in emergencies around the world. It's what they do. Teams are bringing medical supplies for children in Yemen, clean water and medicines in Afghanistan, healthcare and safe spaces for Ukraine's children. To find out how you can help, search UNICEF supplies online or text supplies to 84988. 32 pounds could help provide a health worker with a large first aid kit. Supplies that start out here in the world's largest humanitarian warehouse. Make sure children keep learning, keep playing and keep safe. When their world is turned upside down, vital support from you will help make sure life-saving supplies like these can reach children whenever they need them. Search UNICEF supplies now or text supplies to 84988 because your support brings hope for children caught in crisis. David Beckham hunts for future sim racing pros at the Sky Guild Gaming Center. Come on, come on, one more lap. Still one spot on the team available. Gonna get you. Let's go. Come on, come on, yeah. Welcome to the team. Christmas was coming, and a present from the king burst open and said, Come play, it's time to win. Head over to the palaces, play in the bingo fairy tale. There are fabulous prizes to be won every day without fail. So join us this Christmas for festive fun and games, and you might just win big. The prizes are there to claim, but keep festive fun friendly. And please, set your limits. Thepalaces.com, the home of festive bing. Ho, ho, ho. We should have an affair. All right, I'm in. 
Spend your Christmas in the most magical place on earth. Harry, wake up! Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. Let the feast begin. This is for you. Thanks, Hagrid. This Christmas, watch every movie from the Wizarding World only on Sky Cinema. It's sort of exciting, isn't it? Merry Christmas, Hermione. Dumbledore asked that I give you something. Where did you get it? Look out for Christmas. Sky Cinema Wizarding World. Available now. have a hundred pounds for leukemia research and the twanky family have 84 pounds for kids in need and distress let's see what happens now as we play double money les returns to the podium right 100 people surveyed top six answers we asked 100 people to name your favorite tongue twister abanaza uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. She does. <laughs> but there's a more popular one, family. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pepper. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, play or pass? You're going to pass that one yes. over. OK, so the Twanky family. We have to come to you, so shy, for a favourite tongue twister. What do you think? Uh, around the Ragged Rock, the Ragged Rock ran. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Going well, three to find. <laughs> All the rude um, ones. Yeah, it is exactly. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> no. So, wishy. Yes, buttons. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Red lorry, yellow lorry, red, yellow lo lorry. Yeah. <laughs> red lorry, yellow lorry. Ye on, red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> no! So we've lost two lives. Hard up family ready to steal. Aladdin. Ah, uh, little Lily, lovely Lily. It isn't. So, Annie. Uh, better, better, better bit of butter, butter. Bitter, better. <laughs> better. On your knife. Yes. <laughs> I rattled my bottles in Rolex's yard. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not a pheasant plucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any more yes, other yes. than that. I know, it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pheasant plucker son. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not only... picking that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Betty bought a few bottles round the... Bitter, 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 bitter butter. No, Betty bought a bit of butter. Better bit of butter. You yeah. can't put a better bit of butter, butter on, on your, your knife. <laughs> no, so, the Twanky family, you've got the money. Six pounds plays a hundred pounds. The missing answers. Number five. Red leather. Not red lorry, but red leather. The two two different ones. Two different ones. And number four is the Leith Police. Number three. Sister Susie. You got it. Yeah, you had an idea. Okay, let's play round two double money. Hey, hey. <laughs> name a type of animal or bird featured in a pantomime. Annie. Cat. Yes, answer number two, but there's a more popular one, so shy. Bambi, the, you know, the uh, deer. Bambi, in a pantomime. Oh, no, not well, in a pantomime. Well, you've said it No, so you have control of the board. Yeah, yeah we'll play it, You're going to play that. All right, then, Annie, rejoin your family, and we come to you, Prince. Yes, Buttons, I think it's Mother Goose. Ooh, top answer. <laughs> and it means another trip to our genie. It's a terrific prize for Craig McQueen. It's a knockout, Harry, if you know what I mean. Hello, Craig. How are you? Hiya, how are you doing? Fine. My name's Buttons, how are you? Yeah. Pleased to meet you. Hey, a Batman fan, eh? Yeah. And a Lego fan, I believe. Father Christmas yeah. was telling me that you like Lego. How's that? Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's yours then. Go on, take it. 
Is that good? Yeah. And you see this? Look, there's a guide to Legoland. All right? Yeah. And you and Mum and the rest of the family are going to Legoland, courtesy of Family Fortunes. How's that? It's brilliant. There you go. Good lad, Craig. Have a good time. Cinders. Horse, donkey, pantomime. Horse, donkey, thing. pantomime. Yes, two answers to find. Gertie the cow. <laughs> yeah, he even got a name for it. Yeah, yeah. Funny. Last one to find. No the three bears. Yes. Well played. So we now have two hundred and ninety-six pounds to the hard-up family, and the Twankies have two hundred and twenty-six. Mm -hmm. It's still anybody's game. Let's play on. Yeah. 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 So. Top four answers. Name something found in a Christmas stocking. <laughs> Apple. Fruit is there, but there's a more popular one. Prince. Uh, toy. Yes, it's there, but fruit is more popular. What are you going to do? We're playing. We're playing. Play. Right, two answers to find, and we come to you, Wishy. What do you think? Uh, sweets, Button. Sweets. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and Wishy? Yes. You've won another prize. Oh, oh. fantastic. What so, we over to our genie Frank. Right, Scarpa buttons, do not tarry. If you don't go quick, I bring back Harry, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> A classroom. Hi, Danny. Yeah. Hi, Danny. How are you? Do you know who I am? <laughs> no, I'm buttons today. You know, from the pantomime, Cinderella. And uh, we've been told by our genie of the lamp that you'd like a keyboard with percussion. How's that? Plays a tune. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly is that. Talking about me again. Welcome, oh. you? Aladdin. Christmas stocking, something found in. Nuts. <laughs> yes! We have to lose the harder family. Uh, is that all right? We're not that bothered. But you have two hundred and ninety-six pounds for uh, the Sharon Allen Leukemia Trust, right. and because it's Christmas, we're going to add another five hundred pounds oh, to that. Oh, lovely! So that makes yeah. seven hundred and ninety-six pounds. Well done, the harder family. Okay, Neil China. Yes. Who's playing big money? Well, I'm going to play, and my lovely daughter-in-law down there. So shy. shy. All right, if you'd like to join me at the mic, please. <laughs> oh, so shy, you're going to play first. Yes. And, Widow, you're going to go and listen to some music. Oh, Jingle Bells, I think it is. Hand up, All right, Jingle we'll see you in a minute. So Thank you. Five questions, 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. I'll feel ever so nervous. You'll buttons. do well. <laughs> All right, good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. Apart from snowman, name a word beginning with snow. Uh, snow... snow... snowball. Something you put on cr Christmas trees. Uh, ball balls. It's part of a turkey. Uh, stuffing. A country where you can go skiing. Switzerland. An ingredient of Christmas pudding. Currants. Yes, well done. <laughs> Whoa! We started off safely, but we got there, I think. Right, first of all, I said, apart from snowman, name a word beginning with snow. You said... Snowball, our survey said... <laughs> snowball 37, well done. Then I said, name something you put on Christmas trees. You said... Baubles. Baubles, our survey said... 14, well done, 51. <laughs> then I asked you to name part of a turkey. You said... The stuffing, whether <laughs> it's part of the turkey. Our survey said... <laughs> Nothing for stuffing, but don't worry, we've got 51 and two answers to reveal. Then I said, name a country where you can go skiing. You said... Must Switzerland? Be must be a good one. one. I think it's a good one. Our survey said... <laughs> 33, 84. <laughs> Finally, I asked you, an ingredient of Christmas pudding. You said... Currants. I meant fruit in general, though. Oh, <laughs> did you? Well, let's see what we did with currants. You said currants. Our survey said... 46, <laughs> 130, well played. Rejoin your family. Clear the board, and we'll bring back Widow Twanky. <laughs> Very nice. 
I like it. I spent all the money already. <laughs> 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 all right, then. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. Oh, dear, right, right. Right. And you have an extra five seconds. That's in case you duplicate any of the answers. Right. If you do, you'll hear this noise. I'll ask you for another answer. So can we remind the viewers of the answers we've had from SoShy? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. Play right. for kids in need. Apart from snowman, name a word beginning with snow. Sugar. Something you put on Christmas trees. Uh, tinsel. Part of a turkey. Uh, Parsons nose. A country where you can go skiing. Switzerland. Another. Uh, Austria. An ingredient of Christmas pudding. Raisins. Another. Uh, suet. Right. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Let's see how we did. We got 130. We need 70 to win the £3,000. So, first of all, I asked his name, apart from Snowman. <laughs> 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 beginning with snow. Sugar. You said... Sugar. <laughs> snow sugar. <laughs> Our survey said... <laughs> Oh, nothing for snows. <laughs> the top answer we'd already had was snowball. Right. So we still need 70, four answers to reveal. Then I asked you to name something you put on Christmas trees. You said tinsel. Our survey said 17, 147. <laughs> we need 53. The top answer was lights. Then I asked you to name part of a turkey. You said the parson's nose. Our survey said 13. <laughs> We need 40. The top answer there was breast. Oh, really? Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> then I asked his name a country where you can go skiing. You said Austria. It's got to be worth 40 or more. You said Austria. Our survey said. <laughs> yeah! The Twanky family celebrate. The celebrity families included Peter Howitt, Lisa Maxwell, Bella Emberg, John Inman, Christopher Biggins, Paul Shane, Jessica Martin, Windsor Davis, Cheryl Baker and Jim Bowen. Head & Shoulders is launching something huge. The Bare Minimum. Clinically proven anti-dandruff shampoo made with just nine ingredients. No sulfated surfactants. Packaged with 46% less plastic. Giving dandruff protection. The new Head & Shoulders Bare. Job done. In a world of choices and voices, here's some things for Asian. What floats your boat? What gets your goat? Do you recline on cloud nine? Or is classic your cup of tea? The right thing is your thing. And we've got just the thing for you. DFS, what's your thing? I love that Just Wash Fairy freshness. I just don't want it to fade. Now I've found Fairy's in-wash scent boosters. Simply add directly into the drum before every wash for mild freshness that lasts and lasts, cuddle after cuddle. They're dermatologically tested and suitable even next to sensitive skin. New Fairy scent boosters. Inside this room, all of my dreams become realities. Some of my realities become dreams. Never enough. Never enough. Did it! For me. For me. For me. For me. With Sky Store, you're in for an epic night. There's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world. Rainer.